God Father Paulino Tomeno, who came to Uganda 1965, that's 59 years ago, and has served the Ugandans in many aspects, as we shall be explaining. And he passed on on Sunday in his home country of Italy. Father Paulino Tomino started many projects, as we shall be told, hospitals, schools, and the, one of the prominent schools that he started is in Kanungu, by coincidence, is in my constituency, called Bishop Kombon College, which has produced uh, very many eminent personalities, eminent Ugandans, and they are mourning the death of a senior priest who left his home country, Italy, and came and settled in Uganda and did very wonderful work, building schools, uh, health facilities, preaching the gospel of Jesus. And the, by the time of his illness and eventual death, he was stationed in Chamuhunga, which is the current Mishen district. Actually, I'm among the pioneers when the school opened on 12th April 1982, I was among the pioneers in S1. I was in S1. The school started in 1982. And uh, his key remark, which we remember him for, was which he would address us on every assembly, on every parade, that while he was young, some missionary came to address them and told them a very big statement which touched his heart that somewhere in this world, somewhere in any part of this world, someone is waiting for you. That is one thing that made him decide to join missionary work to go and help people in Africa. Because he had seen the ears being inflicted on the poor people. Father Paulino Tomeno was aged 87 years. In November this year, he was going to make 87 years of age. And uh, we are here to announce his death, but also to appreciate the great work that he has been able to do for mankind, particularly here in Uganda, when he came as a missionary, fell in love with the people of Uganda and decided to remain here. I remember on one of the days when we were marking Komboni Day in Kambuga, he made a request to me as a minister and he said, when I die, I want to be buried in Uganda. And you, honorable minister, I want you to assist me and I get the citizenship of Uganda. And indeed we worked on it, and he became a Ugandan citizen. You know that we made a law in Uganda that allows for dual citizenship. About 15 years ago, we made that law in Parliament, that you can be an American, and you apply to get a second citizenship of Uganda. Or you can be a Tanzanian, and a Ugandan, same time. So he was by birth an Italian, but he chose to apply for citizenship and we granted it as government and he is a Ugandan and he made a will that when he dies he would like to be buried here in Uganda. We also want to appreciate His Excellency the President because when Father Paulino fell sick and his condition was worsening. We requested His Excellency the President to airlift him to Italy for more specialized treatment, which request he offered and he chartered for him uh, air transport and he was airlifted to, to Italy. Unfortunately, he could not make it. 
he was pronounced dead on Sunday. And again, the president has agreed uh, to repatriate, to repatriate the body, bring back the body, and he's going to provide again air transport to bring back the body and the relatives and family members uh, so that we can have a decent send off of Father Paulino. So we want to extend our appreciation to His Excellency the President for supporting the family to take Father Paulino to hospital and also to offer to bring the body and the members of the family back uh, in Uganda. Arrangements are being made to facilitate transportation of his remains and the members of the family. There is a committee we have put in the press which is working out an arrangement. At an appropriate time, we shall announce the exact dates when the body arrives and uh, when we shall put him to rest and all the accompanying activities which will follow as we mourn our foreign uh, Father uh, the exact place for burial that we are we are proposing will be in the place where he last worked, that is Chamhunga. Yeah, in Mbarara Archdiocese, uh, in Bushenyi.